and means and said, I didn't walk, walk down through the hotel lobby to get her a Coke there. So he said, I sneaked out, went down the street, and got her a Coke, brought it back in. I doubt if anybody would even know who he was walking through the hotel lobby. If I want a Coke, I'll be dressed decent, but I don't care if it's a Waldorf Astoria. If I want a Coke, I'll go get it. I don't care how I look. Amen? And if I want to preach the gospel, I'll preach it no matter what kind of suit I got on. It doesn't matter. As a matter of fact, my suits are so old, they spoke to two or three people when they came in, but that doesn't make it any, any better. You can go ragging and brag about that too. You know? You can, anything that you put between and take, try to take the glory away from God, it doesn't work. Amen? It doesn't work. Now I'm going to close. But God showed him that you had more sympathy for that gourd than you had for a lost city. And I believe there's folk in the world today, uh, they're the only ones going to heaven. Scott's telling me a bunch were standing outside where they went in Lexington, tell them they're the only ones going and they're all going to hell, all that stuff. <clears throat> Each person who comes up to you and says, our church is the only one that's going to heaven, you tell them this. You say, the Bible says it's a number that no man can number. Is there, you got that many people in your church? I don't think so. I don't think anybody's got that big a church membership. If their little group is the only one going, then somehow the Bible lied about how many is going to be there. And the Bible don't lie, but I'm not too sure about them. You go to heaven because you're saved and redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ, and because of that, you've got power to overcome sin, and you live a righteous life. What I read tonight, the fruit of righteousness, not the fruit of the, fruit of the devil, it's a tree of life. So the fruit of righteousness can only come through repentance. They need the preacher. And they got, they got one, really didn't want to go. But let me tell you, God will have his way and save those people. But you know what? A lot of people get saved. They go for a while. Seems like it's more so now. And you just think they're going to be in church forever. And not long till they start hanging out the wrong places and so on and quit missing and start missing church. Not long till they're back to where they were. Friend, it's an everyday walk. It's an everyday battle. But you know what's greater than that? It's an everyday victory. Yes. Hallelujah. It's an ever, everyday victory. Everyday victory. And so when you start with the Lord, keep digging, keep adding on, keep stay with him because we're going to walk off this world's edge one of these days and then eternity will begin and I want it to begin with God in heaven. When it ends here with God, I want it to end there. So let's pray for revival. And pray that things, I know that we can't do everything and be everywhere at the same time. And I know that different things happen. But everybody can pray. Everybody can have it up on their heart. Pray for the evangelists and so on. So it won't be a show, but it'll be a revival. It'll be a revival. Y'all get a song. I've preached long enough. But God needed a preacher. And God needs preachers tonight. I don't know where all this money and riches got to coming in to the ministry. Got that much money, help people out that don't have any. You know, God wants you to have what you need. You don't mind you having good things. But when that becomes the sole purpose of it all, you miss the mark by far. I'm not here tonight to tell you if you get saved, you're going to get rich. I'm not here to tell you it's going to be smooth sailing. I'm here to tell you Jesus bore the cross. You must bear the cross. That old song says, must Jesus bear the cross alone? And all the world go free. 
No, there's a cross for everyone, and there's a cross for me. It's good, and God has blessed you, and I hope he blesses you more. There's nothing wrong in that, as long as you share with God. And never lose the blessing over a material thing. We stand tonight with